Upon completion of this chapter, you will have an understanding of the purpose of the checklist, the tasks and who is doing what, the obligation to report to superiors when any negative items are observed, the standard procedures for a crude oil tanker when departing a loading port, the early departure procedure (EDP), who is responsible for the various activities. The formalities regarding cargo documentation and port clearance. What is the purpose of the pre-departure checklist? The purpose of the checklist is to verify that the vessel, in all respects, is prepared and seaworthy for the upcoming sea passage. This includes the vessel's draft, freeboard, trim, navigational preparedness, engine, security check for stowaways, etc. The junior officers are, as for the pre-arrival checklist, involved in most of the preparations and checks prior to departure. Any negative answers in the list are to be reported immediately to the superiors. When the cargo documentation is completed and the master has received the port clearance, the vessel passes through the standard activities for departure. The agent and cargo surveyors disembark, pilot on board. Unmooring and leaving terminal, assisted by tugboats, steaming out from harbour and quitting pilot when passing the sea buoy. Who is responsible for the various activities? In addition to the masters and chief officers' preparations with the documentation and formalities, the pump man checks the cargo system, and the boatswain with deck crew prepare the vessel for the sea passage, and the watch system is changed from harbour to sea watchers. Once loading has been completed. Why can a tanker not sail away immediately without waiting for official paperwork? In some of the major crude oil loading ports, like Ras Tanura Juaima in Saudi Arabia, the early departure procedure is commonly used. Because of the huge quantities of crude oil exported through this port, numerous crude oil tankers call at its terminals daily. The need for quick turnaround is therefore considerable. Prior to arrival. The master has been approached with the question if he accepts early departure procedure to be used upon departure. The owners and charterers must be informed and accept the procedure to be used. When a crude oil tanker has completed loading and the ship shore cargo figures have been exchanged and found acceptable, the cargo documents certifying the origin, quality, quantity, and ownership of the cargo will be released. The master needs the official cargo documentation on board. Because it is legal evidence that the cargo on board is being carried in compliance with international laws. Working out the huge amount of data needed to fill in all documentation, like bills of lading, quality reports, unage, and timesheets, etc., takes a long time, and all documents need to be signed by the master and shippers. In order to save time and to avoid delays both to the vessel and terminal. All documentation already signed by the shipper is brought on board in ample time prior to departure by the agent, but the documents are without the quantity and quality figures specified. The master signs the completed documents and gives a letter of authority to the agent to sign the incomplete documents, such as the bill of lading, on his behalf after the shore figures have been matched with the vessel's calculated figures. He receives his sets, and the remainder is left with the agent. The vessel can depart. Once the figures have been finalised and transmitted to the vessel, the final documents are completed by the terminal, and the agent signs them on the master's behalf. In addition to filling in the missing cargo figures and mailing them to owners and charterers, the agent emails the figures to the master, who then fills in his documents to be kept on board.